What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rio West. You tuning in to Rio West Gaming, and we back with some more Madden 25 content. It's not the typical content, not the normal Madden 25 content, or not typically something you'd see out there. And that's the problem, in my opinion. This what I'm about to discuss is something that I've had an issue with for years. I haven't seen too many people talking about this on youtube or anywhere else for that matter and quite frankly it's frustrating and i'm about to address it now and hopefully y'all can make this video blow up and get popular so so that ea can see this and make a change i don't want this video to blow up and get popular for my my well-being i wanted to blow up and get popular for the sake of the gamer the user that that likes uh, what should I say immersion or realism or just want to have all the tools that they need necessary to make the game as realistic as possible for them and that goes to deal with editing these players so real quick I'm gonna jump right into it and show you exactly what I'm talking about so say you go edit a player specifically an offensive lineman so let's go over to appearance and see the different faces that they use. Okay, so anybody who's been editing their draft classes for years in Madden, I'm talking four years, outside a couple of these new faces that they've added, which isn't a lot, it's only a handful, majority of these faces are the same exact faces they've been having four years in Madden. They don't change it up, they give you the same generic faces, and that's it there's nothing you can do you can't adjust the hairstyles you can't adjust features you can't adjust facial hair or nothing you just you just uh dealing with the hand that was dealt to you and you're forced to pick from these faces which is garbage because say for instance as far as if you're editing a player who has dreads majority of players have dreads now but they only give you a handful of players with dreads that you could choose from with faces that's unacceptable like a majority of the players that you edit that have dreads you're gonna have a lot of the guys in the in the draft that have the same faces because you're limited to who has dreads and who doesn't and it's the same with players that have like short dreads or short hair you're restricted to the same like this guy right here you know how many people have that kind of hairstyle? But that's the only face with that hairstyle in here. Or you might have this one over here. Let me find it. It's somewhere around here. Right here. You might have this one right here. That's the only one you could choose from. And it's the same for lighter complected individuals. They only have two hairstyles. Like that that's unacceptable they only have two they only have two faces with that hairstyle one blonde one one dark and it's just it's it's unacceptable it's unacceptable but the faces is one thing the faces is one thing you know they only give you so your way around that you can easily give us the same editing feature that you give us in superstar mode where you could edit the features edit the hairstyle it's easy just give us that mode you already have it in the game give us that in in franchise to be able to edit the draft class what's so hard about that to be able to give us the ability to edit the the player's facial features hairstyle give them facial hair give them a mustache beard why can't we have that 2k has been having it for years but but it's an issue in madden to be able to put it in there in the draft class that needs to be addressed because y'all can't keep give, getting away with giving us the same generic faces we've been having for years. It's unacceptable, especially when even if you don't give us the ability to edit these, the facial features, edit the hair and and skin tone and all that. This is basic stuff. We should be able to edit like skin tone and all that. But even if you didn't, how do you have a game in college football 25 where all of the generic faces that come in, they're AI generated. 
So how how do you have that where it's, it's majority of the time a bunch of different combinations of faces, but you can't do that in Madden? And this has been the same thing for years. It's so repetitive. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable, and we shouldn't be allowing that. But worse than the faces is the build type. This is the main one that I see. I've seen people to discuss the same faces and everything like that. I've seen that before. But the one that irks my nerves the most is player build. So let's go to physique because now it's physique this year. You click on it, literally all you could change, height, weight, arm size, and thigh size. So for years, we've had the ability to change not just height, weight, arm size, thigh size, but belly, chest, all of that. So now not only have they taken that away from us, but every time you edit a player, specifically the offensive lineman, I've noticed now this year with like other positions outside of like offensive and defensive linemen, it's not as bad, but the offensive lineman is terrible. So certain offensive linemen in real life might have this build that you're looking at right here in front of the screen. But they might not be 313 pounds. They might just be like 310 pounds. But watch what happens to this player's build once you edit him from 313 to 310. Why does it change? Why does it change? That guy in real life may, may just have the same build that I just showed you. But because I took three pounds off of him, he goes from having an offensive lineman's build to a linebacker's build. And we can't do nothing to reverse that. We can't do nothing to change that. You can put them back at 313 pounds, but look, nothing changes. It stays the same. You can't change his gut either. You can't change his chest. Nothing. This is completely unacceptable, and this has been like this for years. Again, it shouldn't be hard for you to, instead of putting all this, or you can have arms size and thighs but you should ha also have an option that say build type where you could pick a player's build type whether you could pick slender what would look like more of a quarterback wide receiver you could pick uh like muscular which would be more of like this build for a linebacker you can pick big which would be for an offensive or defensive tackle offensive lineman or defensive tackle, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many ways you can just make this not a thing. This should not be acceptable. Just because I took three pounds off of him, he goes from an offensive lineman's build to a, a linebacker's build. That, that is so garbage. That is so garbage. And you took away features. You took away the ability to edit the belly. You took away the ability, ability to edit the shoe size. You took away the ability to edit the chest. It's just you t you've taken away too much and haven't given us enough. And again, I know I'm ranting, but this is something I've been frustrated with, with Madden for years. I've never made a video to put out there to say it. I've never actually had enough traction on my page to be able to make a video like this. But with me having enough traction now, I'm hoping that this video picks up and other people that feel this way see this and they share it. They, they, they do whatever they need to do to get this video to blow up so that EA can see this and make a, a, a effort to try to change, to try to turn this around. Because this, again, to have the same generic faces and not and not have the ability to control a player's build is unacceptable. You want to talk about giving the users full customization? There's no customization here. You can't customize the face, you can't customize the hairstyle, you can't customize the skin tone. You're you're uh you're a victim to whatever they give you for that skin tone, whatever face they give you. You can't customize the build of a player. What can you customize? Nothing. 
So you already don't give us the ability to import our draft classes. Cool. Let me edit. If you're going to let me edit, give me the full customization ability. I'm not going to keep ranting on too much more. Again, if y'all made if y'all made it this far and y'all haven't liked the source. Again, if y'all made it this far and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so. Click that notification tab so you can stay up to speed with all Madden 25 content on college football, 25 content, college football, 26 leaks, et cetera, et cetera. But again, for the sake of the community, for the sake of customization. Share this video, like this video, comment, leave your feedback, get some traction to this video. I don't care if you don't do any of my other videos, this video, so EA can see this and try to make an effort to actually give us more customization and edit in our draft classes. Either that or give us imported draft classes back. So again, I appreciate you all for tuning in. That's been my time. Till next time.